Hi all, this is Dr. Ilya Qsar and today we will talk about accessing maxillary first and second molar. Actually accessing these teeth is challengeable for beginners and sometimes for long practice dentists. So in this video I will show you a few simple steps which will make accessing these teeth easier for all of you. So let's start. So before we start preparing our axis, there are many things we should know. The first thing is the anatomy of the second and first maxillary molar and their outline, their axis outline. As you see in this video, this tooth have three roots and four canals. As you see in the left side, I put a picture shows the outline axis of the first molar and second molar. As usual, we use a round bear to access the tooth. So we draw our outline using a round bear and we prepare the cavity until we reach the dentine. As I mentioned before, the dentine color is a little bit darker so as you see in the video it became light brown color After that, we change our burr into a straight high speed burr. So we go with this burr around the outline that we drew already before we access the cavity. You just go with the outline. So you drill. After you drilled with the straight burr, and sometimes it will be very difficult for you to see what did you do. So the thing I I like to use is using a scaler with a heavy water spray so this water help us to make the axis more clear for us and it removes all the debris so try to use it while drilling so as you see here I almost penetrated into the pulp chamber as you see there's a small hole I made a small hole it means I penetrated into the pulp chamber So again, I use the scaler to make the axis more visible. After that, you can continue use the straight burr or you can use an uncutting straight burr like endo-z burr. So the specification of this burr is that the cutting end, it won't make a perforation into the tooth. So after that, we again we unroof the pulp chamber using a straight bear and you again we go within our outline again i use the scaler Sometimes you may face a calcified pulp chamber. In these cases, I recommend to use a periapical pre x-ray to find out where do you prepare exactly, as you see in the x-ray on the left side. In some cases, you may face a patient with a small mouth opening. So what can you do in this case? Actually, in most cases, we don't see our cavity. So by the time you will learn how to access the cavity without seeing the access preparation. 
So that's why I tell you first to draw the outline and to know it by heart. And then you can drill, drill and check. This is what we do. So you drill, you use scaler with water and then check the axis again. You drill even without using the mirror. You drill in, within your outline and you use scaler with water and you stop. As only you reach the pulp chamber, you unroof it with non-cutting tip and that's it. So the risk of having any problems is very low. And as you see, all the kennels are now visible for us. The first mesi buckle and the second one and the stubuckle and the palatal kennel. Very simple and easy steps. So that's it for today. On my next video, I will be talking about the mistakes that could be happened while accessing the maxillary teeth and how to avoid these mistakes. Thank you.